In this video you're going to learn about osteomyelitis and how it's treated. Osteomyelitis is a type of bone infection caused by bacteria and can affect almost anyone. Children who become infected usually have their long bones affected, particularly the bones in their legs. Adults typically see infection in their vertebrae and hips. Since almost anyone can become infected, it is important to understand what some of the risk factors are. Contributing risk factors for osteomyelitis include circulatory problems including diabetes, artery disease, and sickle cell disease. Recent injury like bone fractures and punctured wounds. Use of street drugs, non-sterile needles creating puncture wounds near the bone. Osteomyelitis can cause quite a few secondary complications. In children, osteomyelitis can damage the growth plates which can lead to impairment in growth. Occasionally, the affection can move to the other joints, causing septic arthritis. In the worst cases, the infection can cause the bone to die due to a decrease in blood supply to the bone. Treating osteomyelitis can be a long process. Orthopedic physicians may suggest starting with a bone biopsy to help choose the best antibiotic to treat the particular infection. Antibiotic treatments usually last around six weeks and are administered through an IV. Many cases of osteomyelitis require surgery. Surgery may be done for a variety of reasons including draining the infection, removing infected bone, getting blood back into the bone, or in the worst case, amputation. If you are experiencing bone pain, a fever, and swelling, it is imperative to see an orthopedic specialist. The physicians at the Illinois Bone and Joint Institute are some of the best orthopedic doctors in the Midwest. Their experience and training in treating all types of orthopedic conditions, including osteomyelitis, make them your best choice for orthopedic care.